Did you watch? <laughs> I know you don't do statistics. I know you could care less, but I, I got to put it out there. So look, this is national, not HBCUs, not SWAC, NCAA wide. Third down conversion rate, number one in the nation. Defensive TDs, number four in the nation. Uh, scoring defense, number one. Sacks, number one. Tackles for loss, number six. Total defense, number one in the nation. What's your reaction? What does it mean? Right now. It doesn't mean anything. We haven't accomplished our goal. Our goal is to dominate, to be dominant on defense. I see through my lenses, through my eyes, where we can be so much better if we would just do our job. Just do what you're coached to do. That is not them. That is us. Get your hands out of your butt. Come the fuck out. Hey, chill out, King. Hey, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Hey, he is not wrong. Take it. Start playing football, gentlemen. Now, the counterpoint to that, number one in the nation, number one in the swag, giving up 8.9 points a game. The closest person to you is giving up 20 points a game. And what does that mean? It means you're being dominant. We are, we are not playing as well as those numbers may indicate in my eyes. Because when we are dominant, that means all 11 of those guys are bonded together, doing exactly what they're coached to do. That we're not giving up touchdowns or long runs or long passes because they've been coached to do it correctly. You never know which play is going to be the play that costs you. So therefore, I'm not happy when guys aren't doing what they're coached to do. This is not a difficult game if you understand your job. Do your job on every play. Coaching for perfection. They never get it, but cannot stop it. You, you have often said in this room that the goal is to prevent points. Every time we take the field. It's not to stop the run, it's not to break up, it's to prevent points. That means if you are doing that, you will prevent points if you're doing your job on every single play. You have talent. Yeah. One thing we have is we have talent. You have talent combined with guys, alignment, assignment, running to the ball, doing what they're coached to do, it's going to be hard to beat. It's going to be hard to beat. Now, as you sit here at 8-0, and first time in school history, in, in a rich history now, rich history of defense and overall performance, rich coaching history, first time ever been 8-0. Do you still see this defense improving and also having much to improve on? Improving, having much to improve on. We may never get perfection. Doesn't mean we're not going to coach for it. Doesn't mean we're not going to shoot for it. Mm -hmm. That's what the goal is. I'm looking for that game. For 60 plays, 65 plays, every guy on that defense does exactly what they're supposed to do. They may get blocked. Another guy may be better. But if you're doing what you're coached to do, that's a plus. Southern didn't score. The goal is to prevent points. They had a chance. They had opportunities. Yeah. Opportunities that we gave them. Thank you. We helped them. Yeah. Didn't do our job. Guys not in their gaps. Guys not running to the football. Guys not doing what they're coached to do. No. Never know which play. What is it about this, this team and I'm, I'm at practice. I, I see what you guys tell them to do. I, so I know they're coached to do it. But we always give up that one big play each game or that one big run. Or maybe, except for the Southern game, one score. And then the lights come on and we start. What is it, what is it about this group that they got to get hit before they start hitting back? Lack of focus. Lack of focus. Someone has a mental breakdown. And then they go, Oh, 
No, not O. <laughs> alignment. It's assignment, alignment, do your job. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple to me. Yeah. I wasn't a guy, it's the only thing I, I'll ever say about me, who made mental mistakes. Mental mistakes are a lack of focus. Mm. Do you really know your job? So that when you get out there, you don't have to think about it. You know it. Mm -hmm. You're ready to execute it. There's someone that's trying to keep you from it, but you know what you're supposed to do. And when you do it, you can self-correct if you make a mistake. Your coach doesn't have to tell you. Now you, you've often chastised this group, motivated this group, coached this group to play team defense, to celebrate at 11 players, not just one having made a play and celebrating on his own, but it's a group effort. Yes. Uh, still not eight no. Are they buying in? Do you see it improving? Or is that something you still got to push to them? Getting better at it. But in order for guys to make plays, someone else is sacrificing. Yeah. Someone else is sacrificing. It's not just you. Football is the ultimate team game. The ultimate. Because you don't, most guys don't play offense, defense, and special team. Yeah. They may play two or the three. They don't play three or the three. We're fortunate we have a young man, Travis Hunter, who can do all three. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's a rarity. Very okay, rare. at any level. Okay? So, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Do your job. Make sure you do your job. Someone else may get the credit, but you had to do your job in order to help them do their job. Well, Coach, in a world of clicks and likes and reshares and, and stats and, and me, 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 how do you get up a guy to give up he is for the group? What he thinks is he is. At the end of the day, yeah. what are you playing for? Championship. 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 You win a championship, everybody gets the ring, right? Mm -hmm. And within that, are there not individuals that get singled out? Yeah. And when you're playing on a championship defense or a championship team, team more guys get accolades and recognized because of what you're doing as a team. Because what happens? All eyes begin to focus on mm -hmm. you. They'll notice if you're playing well. People will notice. What happens? Georgia's defense last year. How many guys got drafted? A lot of them. How many guys got drafted high? A lot of them. Who was the number one ranked defense in the country last Georgia. year? They won the national championship. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll get what you're supposed to get. Sacrifice does not go unrewarded. Sacrifice, a lot of times, gets you rewarded. Mm -hmm. Let me take you back to the spring season. Mm-hmm. I remember this. You may not remember this. The final game, we didn't know at the time it was going to be final game because we had another game that mm -hmm. canceled. But what was the final game? You and I walked off the field together. You kind of looked back. In some, there was part of it was frustration, mm -hmm. but also jubilation that you knew a change was coming. Mm -hmm. Take us from that kind of unit, talent, coachable players to what you have now and how you knew that this day would come. Because I knew it was the best thing to happen to us defensively. Mm. Because I had a chance to evaluate our talent in game situations. That spring season was the springboard to us understanding who we had, what we had, what we didn't have, what we needed. Okay? And so doing that, if we had just had a spring practice, you don't get a chance to see guys under game conditions. Spring practice, you can put them in game-like conditions, but they're not games. We had a chance to play seven games in that spring. I had a chance to evaluate our talent. I had a chance to look at what we had and what we didn't have, okay? And I told Coach, coming off that field, this will never happen to us again. So far, has it? Uh-huh. <laughs>